Hey there everybody, this is Brian Tim with Tim on Tech, and today I'm going to show you the kind of uh, proto and progress of my HP Mini tablet. I uh, decided I would turn my HP Mini into a tablet PC, try and use it for taking notes and stuff, and I thought it would be a pretty cool project too, you know, a little experiment in case modding slash adding a touchscreen. So, obviously I've got the screen kind of flipped down here sitting on the base. Uh, the only wires that I've got are the speakers down here run over to their connector. I've got the power hooked up so that I can charge the battery, um, just because my battery doesn't have full power. I haven't used this in a while. Uh, the other two wires are the Wi-Fi antenna signals. The two antennas are kind of stuck onto the lid there, if you can see them. And uh, I didn't really want to remove them if I could avoid it, so I left them there. So uh, it's been a little finicky uh, moving the display slash moving the cable, which you can see this the display cable. So this is the sorry. This is the display cable. It's kind of folded underneath the display because the port for it is actually like right here, and the cable's got amount of, decent amount of length on it. So, uh, and it's been shorting out funky things underneath there uh, when I try to move the display or refold the cable. So I'm leaving it like that for now. Uh, as you see, it's still pretty slim, about still about the same size as the HP Mini is. Uh, of course, there's your power switch, right? For those who don't know, the HP Mini is at the power switch. Here's Wi-Fi switch, and then we've got our battery charging and um, hard drive active indicator LEDs. So it's very nice that HP put all this on the front end so I can completely remove the trackpad and keyboard without losing any functionality. And the speakers, if you can see them, are tucked in back here. Uh, still give pretty good sound output. So let's, just to show that everything works, um, I don't actually have the microphone hooked up, but we'll prove that the webcam works here. Let's open up my Skype settings, and you can see, hi, it works, <laughs> Try and there we go, yay, so it's still still working just fine there, um, and then of course, uh, let's open up Firefox, so we've got Wi-Fi still working, I'm on wireless right now, um, Put this into high quality and show you that sound playback also works just fine. And obviously video as well. A little apocalyptica there. So let's turn this down, make it even more background music than it already is and talk about some of the mods that I had to do to get this working the way it is right now. So, um, first modification that I made, obviously other than taking the whole thing apart and just pulling out the keyboard and trackpad was this speakers here. They used to be in a full bar that was about this long. And I chopped out the middle section, and they also used to be in a two-piece case that had a backing to it. Um, and I pulled those backing, that whole back side off, and then cut the case down the middle so that I was able to squeeze these into a little tiny spot here between the board, the front curve of the case, and the back of the display. Um, and the sound output's still pretty good. As you can see, my, my volume settings are what, really low on YouTube and less than half on the volume through Windows 7. Um, and the volume's just fine, so I think it's a pretty good solution there. Um, and then the webcam is kind of hanging out right here for now. Um, the plan is that this awesome lid that came with it, right, the nice swirly designed lid, will kind of uh, sit on top right here like this, right? Um, obviously all the wires will be tucked in and other oddities that currently make it look kind of funny. And there will just be a big rectangular <laughs> spot cut out, and I'll have my direct interaction with my touch screen. And then I'll have a hole cut up here for webcam, and I might have the get uh, the laser cutter at my school to drill some holes down here to make a little speaker grill. Uh, and that would be the basic idea of the tablet. Um, also going to do some kind of a system to prop it up while I use it if I don't feel like actually, you know, holding it up all the time. Um, which might actually be as simple as buying an extended battery with the big, you know, kind of hump in the back, and then we'll kind of tilt up the whole display um, and make it a little better viewing. You'll seem to hover straight over it to get to get anything decent out of it. So that's my uh, progress so far. I've got a forum post going on on my hpmini.com to kind of chronicle my progress. 
I bought a 10.2 inch touch screen with controller, um, four way resistive. So sadly, I'm not gonna be able to do multi touch, but it's impossible to get a multi touch touch screen without buying a whole display. And um, I figured the display connectors probably proprietary are pretty close. So I didn't want to F with it. I figured resistive will be good enough, and then if I really, really get ambitious, I could buy a whole new screen and get capacitive and all that. Um, but USB based controller and um, has all the drivers, of course, and everything. And it also uh, is a USB hub, so I'll have an additional three USB ports to plug in. So I'm probably going to do integrated Bluetooth as well, so that I don't have to hook up <laughs> my keyboard and mouse through the physical USB, USB ports. Leave those open. Um, just to make the device a little bit more portable, a little bit more friendly to use. So anywho, that's the kind of uh, overview of my HP Mini tablet plan, idea, prototype, whatever you want to call it. Uh, still a work in progress, but when the touchscreen comes in and I get it all hooked up and set up to go, I'll definitely make another video to show you the functionality. Alright, and this has been Tim on Tech.